welcome back to Girl on Raw TV. I'm Robin and today I'm going to show you another video on how to make raw pasta. Last time I made a video on how to make raw pasta, I made it with an old machine that I've been using called a Joyce Chen Spiralizer. Since going to culinary school at 105 degrees, I used a different kind of spiralizer, which I found was much more effective in getting a lot thicker noodles, but also it's a lot better for using it when you're using more wet vegetables like cucumbers it takes the middle piece of the vegetable out so it means that you can actually spiralize your vegetables a lot earlier than when you're going to normally use them with Joyce Chen I found that I had to spiralize my noodles pretty much straight away before I was about to eat them so the spiralizer I'm going to show you I'm not really sure what it's called there's different versions of it on the market I purchased this from Amazon and I think there's about three or four different brands that look exactly the same. So um, it's actually just as inexpensive as a Joyce Chen. It's just a little bit bulkier. Um, a lot of raw foodists do recommend this one, but also the Joyce Chen one is a good starter spiralizer. So if you've seen my other video, then um, this one will show you how to use this one a little bit easier. So we'll get started. Today I'm going to spiralize jicama, which is this. A lot of people have never heard of a jicama. It looks a little bit like a potato and can be substituted in raw food recipes where a potato may be used. This is a root vegetable similar to a yam and it grows mainly in South America. Um, you need to first peel the jicama. You can use a vegetable peeler. It's got quite a thick skin though and can take some time. This one's peeling quite easily. Usually what people tend to do is just cut off both ends. Now jicama is spelt with a J. So it's J-I-C-A-M-A. -A. Not really sure if you can get it in Australia. Um, even amazed that I can get it here in Saudi Arabia. It's very, very popular and quite inexpensive in the USA. So some people will probably think it's called jicama because it's spelt with a J, but it's a silent J. Possibly because it does come from South America. Now you can spiralize any fruits or vegetables, even if you're going to cook them. It's always a nice, different way to present your vegetables. I sometimes spiralize beetroot to throw in my salads. Um, I don't always make raw pasta with my spiralizer. You can also spiralize your vegetables before you stir fry them just to give them a little bit of a different appearance and zucchini is obviously very popular as well when you spiralize zucchini it has the same texture as al dente pasta squash is also another um, summer squash I think it's called um, which is like a yellow zucchini or courgette so we've got the jicama. So we'll take the spiralizer. Now the spiralizer has these suction pads which are awesome because you really need a little bit of grip when you start using this. So get a clean space of bench, stick down each side. Now you get three different plates. I haven't used these other plates yet but I think they do all different kinds of shapes and they just store underneath here. I'm using the smaller spiralizer plate, so I've popped that in there. I've already used it, so it's a little bit dirty already. And you basically just put your, you've got like a, a little hole. Okay, you just, you've got some, um, grip some teeth in there. So you just push your fruit or vegetable up, hold it up while you push in the little pins there to hold it. Now you've got this little handle on the side here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Got this little handle here. So you push that out so that you've got a bit of grip. So you to push that while you're winding because you want to get some friction and out come your noodles. Looks like an old fashioned spaghetti maker. See? Just pop those in here. So you 
sometimes it needs a little bit of elbow grease to get it through. And usually with the harder vegetables, the middle piece should come through. I don't know why it's not coming through. You just want to make sure that you keep pushing that so it gets a little bit of grip there. So there you have fresh vegetable pasta for use in any raw food dishes. So that's it for today. Signing off. See you in the kitchen.